so yes, we've lost it all already at this point, uh, and I don't feel like it's wise to go back again. We really have nothing left, and with what little resources we do have left, I think it's better to use them to completely reset uh, than it would be to uh, try to make one more last ditch attempt at getting what we need uh, back from our stuff. So let's just kind of kiss that stuff goodbye. We're out of coal completely now uh, at this point. Uh, it's tempting to use, we don't have a sword right now either. So it's tempting right now to use our pickaxe, well, we're not gonna use this golden sword. So we do have a pickaxe, we have no torches, but so it's, yeah, I think we're just gonna use the diamond pickaxe as both our sword and what we're gonna use to get all of our coal right now. So if we weren't gonna get the coal, that probably would have been a terrible use. Uh, but I think that's what we've got right now. That was literally all of our food. Uh, I guess we could try to cook some potatoes with what we've got left. That'll give us eight potatoes. So I guess the first thing we need to do is get coal because without that, we can't cook, we can't make our iron, uh, we can't really progress any further. So let's go get ourselves a bunch of wood. All right, that looks like enough uh, wood for right now, which looks like we'll be able to get this going into some coal or charcoal rather soon. And the next thing we lost after losing all of our <laughs> fuel supply uh, was that we, let's see, can I just do this? Yes, uh, is that we lost um, our food. So the next boring thing I gotta go do is go do a bunch of fishing. Zombie flesh. Okay. I think that's. Oh, I think that's the fishing we've got uh, for us today. It looks like we caught uh, those three different types of fish, and that's what we've got for food in one full day's worth of fishing. So I'm anticipating now we're gonna have some food. Uh, we're going to have some coal. Okay, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Look at just like that, we're already up almost to level 10. Okay. Let's put another stack in there. Replenish you. Replenish you. Uh, we got to get some of this fish cooking. And uh, let's take this out at the next opportunity. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So we're gonna have food. I don't know what to do with this puffer fish, so I'm just gonna just gonna keep the puffer fish out of water for a while, I guess. Oh my god, I had all of this wood already. I didn't need to spend all that time chopping down all that wood. That's so frustrating. So the other thing just is to not waste time. Maybe we'll even get to use this hoe. Uh, to prevent ourselves from wasting is, you know what, now that I found out those beets can be valuable. Feed root seed, there we go. Uh, just to, to save all that time and keep things efficient, let's keep potatoes going because it seems like maybe just to save ourselves some time, maybe potatoes will be our nether food source go through and knock those out in a second. Alright, and now that we have villagers in which beetroot could be valuable for trading, get some beetroot down. Mining. 
All right, so if you recall, this was the first mine in which we found a lot of diamonds, and we went pretty far. And if you recall, I don't know why I said recall twice there, we made a sister mine right next to it. And it's uh, about 10 blocks to the right of it. And we're going to continue to go down with this same exact strategy. And we've already got them down and connected just to make sure where everyone's in the right place. All the way down to bedrock here. And as you can see by this little path, here is the sister mine. So... This is the... Oh, look at all this gravel, too. Oh, and I don't have a shovel with me? Are you kidding me? Okay. We could do it the old school way, but... We, uh... We definitely need to try to get ourselves some flint. Maybe this way doesn't create flint. Maybe I need a shovel. Do we think that this axe will do it? There we go. So the axe will do it. All right, so we just mined out all of that gravel, and we got ourselves eight pieces of flint, uh, which is okay, not terrible. Oh, we got some stairs to fill in, don't we? I wonder if I've gone this far in the other direction. Let's find out. One, two, nine. This would be it. Let's see. Bet I've gone a good bit further now, haven't I? I don't think we're going to run in any diamonds in this vein at all. Just from where we walked to here. I don't know. I don't see it happening. Finally. I was just about to say, we're really not going to find any diamonds here. One diamond. One more than one diamond. Oh man, this whole strip mine, and we found one diamond. We found about 20 uh, going just 10 rows over in that same amount of time. That's pretty disappointing. I think what we're gonna do now is go the same direction, or go the same place, opposite direction. To do our takedown work. Okay, so let's just go... Let's go this way. Well, we're down to one torch left, and we've pretty much eaten through this entire... I'm underneath lava. Okay, um, but yeah, we've got one torch left in this stack. Oh, finally. I was just about to say, and we've only found one diamond uh, with our final torch. Okay, let's see. I don't, I don't want this. Oh, that's, okay. Let's see what we got here. So, that's three. Hold on. Okay. So we got four diamonds, which we used, what we used three to get four. So overall, net win of one diamond, Let's see, our inventory is literally full, but should we just keep going? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I've got an idea. Can we go underneath it? Oh, we 
can't. Alright, we might have hit our wall over here. Let's try one more thing, and that is trying to go above it. So let's see. here negative 59 okay so that's that's the goal to get back to negative 59 move. Okay, let's try this. One more. This is literally just a lake of lava. There's going to be nothing <laughs> helpful here. Let's get back down. Now that we're on the other side. Alright, no. This is actually... Yeah, there we go. We just went right over it. It sounds like they're right next to us. Okay, yeah, we're full now. Although we were coming up to a cave. I don't know how interested in particular I am about that. Really am more here for the diamonds. And let's just see how far. I haven't walked back this amount yet. It looks like it looks like we're going to be going for a while. We really kept digging for a very long time. Let's see, here's our lava <laughs> area. Don't see any diamonds sticking out, do we? Nope. And then let's go back down to our bedrock level. Wow, I didn't realize we got 43 pieces of flint. That's going to go a long way for our arrows. But man, that was a lot of strip mining. Four diamonds is pretty disappointing, considering it felt like last time we went strip mining. Strip mining, we went mining for like an hour and found 20. And uh, this time we went so many different directions, like twice as far, twice as long. And it seems like we came out with a quarter as many. So that's pretty disappointing. Those diamonds are going to prove to be pretty hard to replace. And all that armor. Oh! I didn't realize that we just walked over iron. Had I had my uh, pickaxe, I would definitely would have grabbed that. But considering our inventory is full of cobbled deep slate, that's not going to happen. Alright, it seems like we went equally far in both directions. Maybe a little further this, this way. Okay. So here's our center point. I'm a little bit torn with what to do next in terms of our diamond hunt. Because it seems like we should just go back to the main 3x3 three three and maybe just go further down instead of 10 paces over. Maybe if we went a bunch down instead of just 10 over like from right over here. Maybe we look down to our left. Instead of being that close, maybe we should be like where those torches are at the end. I don't know. Maybe we... I don't know. Okay. So up to six diamonds. Okay. What the f fuck was that? Alright, we gotta go fight it. I need the ender pearls. Oh. 
don't have any iron on, or don't have any armor on. Oh, where'd the Enderman go? I needed his pearl. Alright, well that Enderman disappeared completely. I don't know if I would say I would say I am discouraged right now, but it's just uh, a lot more was lost in the nether than I uh, had anticipated, and it's going to take a, a lot more uh, than I anticipated to get it all back, so it's going to take a while, and it's going to take more than one episode. We'll see you in the next one.